Morning tubers. Today I'm making deliveries. And if you um, are trying to build a produce growing business, excuse me, it's a little bumpy out here, you'll need to um, broaden your base. And uh, when I say broaden your base, don't limit your market to just people. Stay tuned. Okay, we are at the house of my best customer, and this is her. Uh, her name is Anna, and my best customer isn't necessarily Anna. There we go. See. Huh? I think it was going there, yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody, this is what I'm talking about. This is Lilu, and I do not know what the rest of these people uh, are. Pippi or, and Sharky. Pippi, Sharky, and, and there's a the bunch. Back. There's uh, Buffy, Harley, Millie, and Zippy. Millie and Zippy are the ones that are walking Buffy, around. Harley, Millie, and Zippy. Anyway, this gal here will dance for her lettuce. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Isn't she beautiful? But that's what I was talking about. You can broaden your base. It doesn't necessarily have to be people. Uh, and these are some of my best customers. And I will leave a link to the Pipster, which is on his channel. Hello. And uh, it's a it's con it's a constant video of of these gals and that's a guy I think right? Yep. Yeah. And so is Millie. Sharky is a guy. Sharky and Millie are both boys. Sharky and Millie are both boys. But anyway, they'd be swimming around in here and eating. But anyway, I will get, leave a link to that video uh, channel in my video. So thank you guys and thank you again for all your business. That's why I say you don't have to necessarily market everything to people. I'm gonna give her. She knows what that box means. Yeah. There you go. The girls are getting the pool. Oh yeah. She's just like, oh, box full. She'll just help herself. Look at this. Well, hi there. You're friendly? No? He's, he's human imprinted, but he's, it's specific people. That's the closest I've ever been to a Canadian goose. <laughs> he is Canadian, right? Canada. Canada. It's actually just Canada goose. Canada goose. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's a, a noticeable human imprint. <laughs> There you go. I, I've actually hand fed a can, Canada goose. That's pretty cool. The geese realize that there's there's lettuce in the pool there. <laughs> this is so cool. What made you start doing this? Uh, well, I was gonna raise chickens and then did a bunch of research and decided on ducks instead. And then I got geese to be, you know, flock protectors, and, um, I don't know, just, and then I started doing waterfowl rescue, and, yeah, yeah I just, I've become a goose person. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> They're a beautiful animal. She is a diva. Oh, yes, she is. And what makes her different? It's the, the, she's, what kind of goose? She's a Sebastopol. A what? Sebastopol. Sebastopol. Mm -hmm. Her feathers are amazing. I learned yesterday that Martha Stewart has Sebastopol. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it on that show that she has or something? No, I just, there was a post somewhere about it. She's an avid gardener. Yeah, someone on one of the Facebook groups for Ducks and Geese posted about it. That is too cool. pictures of her Sebastopols and they were like, where did these come from? They're not great quality. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> well, this will be posted probably this week, so okay. I'll, I'll let you know. If I, if I known, I would have brushed my hair. <laughs> no, I am so sorry. No, that's okay. I, I'm, I'm an impromptu guy. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, as my followers will let you know. 
They'll probably be out there to see you. I'm gonna give her. Yeah. There you go. God bless. <laughs>